Hey guys, welcome back to the Nova Aquatics channel. And today I wanna to cover something that's pretty confusing to a lot of beginners. And uh, what we're gonna be covering today is how to dose your RODI water for a planted tank. Not for a saltwater tank, not for a standard aquarium, just for your fish. This is specifically um, by Seacom for planted tanks. And so I'm gonna kind of briefly explain exactly what we're doing with these, uh, with these minerals, the remineralizer and the buffers right here. Um, to the RO water that actually makes it safe and perfect for your planted tank. So basically what your equilibrium is, if you don't already know, it is a remineralizer. When you make your RODI water, there is nothing in it. It's completely just H2O. There's nothing else in it. And the equilibrium is going to put all the, you know, the needed and necessary minerals for your plants back into the water. It's also minerals and stuff for your fish as well. So your fish, your snails, your shrimp, and your plants are all going to benefit from the minerals that come inside the equilibrium remineralizer. And then you've got the two buffers as well. You've got your alkaline buffer, and then you've got your acid buffer, okay? And what these are gonna do is these are gonna help you lock your pH exactly where you want it uh, for your tank. And of course, for most planted tanks, you want a slightly acidic water, which would be 6.5, maybe a little bit higher, like a 6.8. 7.0 is okay, but your plants do prefer like a 6.8, I would say. So um, let me go ahead and just kind of explain that a little bit more. You know, as your pH goes from neutral, which is 7.0, goes up, it becomes more basic, okay? So your water becomes more basic as the pH goes up. Some fish like that, some saltwater fish definitely like that. Um, as your pH goes down, of course, you know, from 7.0 to 6.5 and 6.0 and on, it becomes more acidic, okay? So um, the alkaline buffer is buffering between 7.2 and 8.5. Of course, that's a huge range, but if you're only using the alkaline buffer, what that tells us is that it's gonna to continue to rise and eventually top out at an 8.5. Nobody wants that. Um, and if you're only using an acid buffer, okay, then of course it's only going to lower and eventually it's gonna bottom out at 6.0. But if we use these two buffers in the correct combination, we can adjust the amounts and eventually we can just lock the pH anywhere we want it. So if we use, just as an example, before I give you all the actual measurements, um, if we use alkaline to acid two to one, okay? So I would use a whole gram and I would use half a gram, right? Two to one. That should bring us to about uh, a 6.8 to 7.0, okay? That's what that um, combination would do for us. So I'm gonna show you guys what to do for five gallons of uh, RODI water, um, the correct measurements of equilibrium, alkaline buffer and acid buffer that's going to get you a 6.8 to 7.8 pH, uh, 200 TDS, and a 4 to 5 GH. Okay, so let me show you those right now. So a proper mixture is going to consist of 4 grams of equilibrium, 1.3 grams of alkaline buffer, sorry, and 0.6 grams of acid buffer. So 0 0.6, 1.3, and four grams. That's the amount you need for five gallons, five US gallons of pure RODI water, nothing in it but water. You add 1.3, 0.6, and four of these, mix it up real good. Your measurements should come out to 200 TDS, a five general hardness, sometimes a four, and then um, your pH should be locked at about a 6.8 to seven. Okay, that's what you're looking for. And then, I mean, that's like, that's perfect. That's perfect for your plants, it's perfect for your fish, it's perfect for uh, crystal red shrimp, which are very sensitive, uh, that I have in one of my planted tanks right now. So, um, that's it, that's real simple. I'm gonna show you guys how to get these measurements, but if that's all the information you needed, then, you know, there you go, just to keep it simple and short and sweet. So let me go ahead and put these back. Now, for a couple extra tips real fast before you jet, if you haven't already, Get yourself a digital scale to get those measurements. Um, of course, definitely need a digital scale. Now I know y'all probably can't see this. This is gonna be a little dark, but when I turn this guy on and it's ready to measure grams, if you get yourself an American nickel, okay, that's gonna weigh five grams exactly, okay? So put yourself a nickel on your digital scale and it should read five grams or maybe 5.01, 5.02, maybe, um, 4.99, something like that. But it should be right at five grams, mine is right at five grams, okay? Go ahead and take that off. Now the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and get is my remineralizer. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and use my scoop here, just a random little measuring spoon, and I'm gonna just slowly kind of add it on there until we hit four grams. So that's 1.78, 3.28, 4.78, That's four grams exactly right there, okay? So we can go ahead and turn this off, and we can move this to the side. We can put it in a little container or something like that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna dunk it in the lid real fast. Okay, so we got four grams of that. That's first measurement done. Okay, next we're gonna need the alkaline buffer. We're gonna need 1.3 grams. Let me go ahead and measure that out. Point five. Okay, now that's 1.38, um, which is fine, guys. If you're okay with that, I'm okay with that. But just for being exact, there we go. 1.31, okay? I'm definitely fine with that. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off, bring this cat back, carefully add that to our container here. Every little bit counts, so try not to miss it. Put this back down. Okay. All right. Now the last one, our acid buffer. We only need about 0.6. So I'm going to take it. Oh, that's like way too much. Okay, there we go. So 0.6, slowly add it on there. Ooh. Okay, I got 0.7 right there, and that it's easy to, to go over, so watch what you're doing. There you go. So that's 0.61. Now here I've got myself a five gallon bucket of pure RODI water. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my TDS meter, and I'm gonna show y'all that it's gonna have a zero TDS. Okay, so it's reading zero. And we can see it's zero. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to take our mixture. We're going to dump it in. There we go. I'm going to take this uh, ladle right here and we're just going to stir it up for a little bit. Okay guys, so we made it to 182 TDS, which is a little bit less than I thought it would be, but it's not always going to be exact. So 182 is good. It's never going to be less than that for sure, unless you fill the bucket more, I reckon. But uh, for a five gallon bucket with four grams of equilibrium, and see it kind of read 188 there for a second. But with four grams of equilibrium, 1.3 grams of alkaline buffer, and 0.6 grams of acid buffer, we have ourselves the appropriate and, in my opinion, the perfect mixture to put inside of our planted tank.